Hey y'all, I'm on my way to go put some gas in my car and I'm gonna stop at the TJ Maxx or Raw somewhere and get Cookie her 100th bed because I'm tired of her laying on sheets and blankets. <laughs> yeah, she's laying on sheets and blankets because she barely sleep on the sheets and blankets. Like, she gonna get a bath probably tomorrow or Sunday. So while I'm out, I might as well get her a little bit. I'm not wearing nothing but this gray little halter top. The same sweatpants that I had on yesterday with the buttons on the side. And, um, wearing my pimp C's and rocking my hair. It's Friday. Um, yeah, I line my lips with my espresso and I have on my Revolution. This is to serve my lip swirl. I don't know if you can still get this or not, but I got it from Target. So I add a little bit more. I had put this on a few hours ago so it really lasts a long time on the lips so yeah so let's go fill up my car because i can't i like to add my car on full so i'm about to go fill it up and go into rolls tj max so let's go that ugly thing in front of my door why as soon as i open my door one of those lizards right there in front of my door like go somewhere else child like what is you doing you know i'm gonna act like a statue as soon as i open the door like i do not like those lizard things i forgot i was at somebody house and somebody had a lizard in a container right the lizard tried to jump out and I closed it and I chopped that lizard tail off by closing it. And it was a smooth straight cut. I forgot who lizard it was, but <laughs> I was like, <laughs> my bad. And it was like the tail grows back or whatever. Hopefully it do because uh-uh. I never liked those things. Never ever. I forgot who lizard that was and the drink tried to jump out at me baby I closed that thing so quick that I chopped the tail off I felt bad but dang with that being said I have a history a bad history with lizards I think I'm gonna go to the nail salon I don't know if I want to take the acrylics off and get gel over top of my real nails so hopefully they could do that without really like um having to cut too much of my real nails down even though i know they will because some of them is like chipped i'm gonna go to the one downtown that i've been going to to those ladies and see if they could um because they grown out they looking ugly dusty and i also want to go to bath and body works because i grabbed this out of my little to go tray of stuff that's by the front door i grabbed this gucci this is one of my favorite scents this is the gucci flora and the pink it's the pink bottle i have this small one but someone said i think it was chloe yasmin yep she said that is a dupe at bath and body works of this scent so we're about to go to bath and body works the smell to see if they have it but actually gonna put some of this on right now i just love that floral scent some people say it's childish smelling but i like that scent it's like fresh it smells really fresh to me i don't know about a childish because this don't smell nowhere near childish to me so yeah let's get it while i was in the nail salon yesterday we was, i was talking to the ladies he was all talking about how Cali is just so expensive, which it is. It's getting crazy. And I'm thinking about where do I want to move next because it's like getting out of hand with the prices and stuff. So we was talking about Texas. We was talking about Atlanta. I have a friend that's in um, Houston right now, actually. 
I mean, not a friend, my cousin. My close cousin moved to Texas about two years ago. And he looks stressed out, so. Mm -hmm. Let me go up. Let me pay for some gas. Actually, I'm going to use some cash. How much cash do I got? Yeah, I'm going to use this cash because I don't be carrying cash. So I'm going to put $50 in here. 50 on them. I got the jitters like I don't know what. The coffee I had this morning. Hmm. Said calling me. shop experience because they was two pack she said it's gonna take like an hour to soak off my nails because i want a gel overlay so i was like forget it already you know it's, it's like 12 one o'clock so i already knew they was gonna be busy as friday so i said let me go get me some acetone and soak off my own nails so i went and got some acetone hopefully this works so I want to keep my length and I want to put like a gel overlay. So we're going to see if I could get the acrylic off. But I stopped at Bath and Body Works to get the perfume. They did not have the actual perfume. This is dressed in white. I believe this is the one. It smells really, really good. It's supposed to be the dupe for the Gucci Flora. And it smells really, really good. No lie. I'm going to spray it on this car. It smells so fresh. It's, it's a dupe. It's definitely a dupe, y'all. And it might even smell just a tad bit better, to be honest. Oh, my goodness. So, I just got the body mist, the fragrance mist. Because she was like, basically... People came up in there and bought it out. It smells so good. It smells so good, y'all. I would highly recommend to get the dress done white if you like if you like the Gucci flora. It smells so good. Mm, 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 mm. It's giving. It's giving. And I stopped in Ross because it was next door. I played me a Mega Million. Baby. If I hit y'all, probably won't see me no more. Like, no. I'll definitely be doing. I'll definitely still be doing YouTube if if I hit because I'll be doing so much, and I'll hire an editor so I could be able to do what I want to do, send everything over to my editor, and yeah. Okay, so I did pick up some nail stuff I found in. Raws, which was some unique nail polishes. This is a 10 quick salon hack. This is just one coat. You're going to get harder like acrylic, shinier like gels, thicker like dips, faster grow, fast dry, top coat, long wear, top coat, anti-fade, safe sealer, base coat, ridge filler, damage nail repair. This is like a 10 in one type. Then I found this one step french mani and this is nail enhancer plus bright brightener so you're going to get pinker nails from whiter tips so it's like it's going to turn your real nail into like a natural french just one coat so i was like that's cute i love that so i got some nail files because i do want to do a coffin shape so i'm going to work on that right now because who knows how long it's going to take and i just pray i don't make my nails too soft and they break and then i just gotta i just gotta wear the top coats to grow them out again because i can't just grow my nails out without nothing on it or it's gonna break so let's start that put my hair 
here. Up. Up, 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 up. I got so many compliments on my glasses today. They was like, your glasses are so stylish. So cute. I like those. I was like, cool. Thank you, sweetie. Tell y'all, my style is tight. My style is tight. Oh, I got most of the acrylic off my nails, but they're extremely like thin. Can you see how thin they are? I put some nail polish on them and we're gonna let them dry. Hey y'all, got something in the mail. Hopefully that's my shower filter. I've been out and about today running some errands. I wore my tank top. Going out like this, tank top, some gray sweatpants, some sneakers. Like, I was on a little move today. So, it is what it is. I think this going to be like my little on-the-go outfit. But, I, you know, when you're getting out the car, you got to put everything in your bag. I stopped at Walmart, got me some more acetone, found some. I went to CVS, and I went to Marshall's, y'all. And I found some things. I think that's all I found. It's hot, y'all. But I've been taking care of my nails. These are my nails, y'all. These are my real nails. Oh, my gosh, y'all. I'm so excited. Let me put my hair up because my neck's steaming. I had a hair appointment today with my other stylist because um, I had scheduled her. And I scheduled my new stylist like within a couple of days apart. But I canceled today so I won't get charged for tomorrow. I'm going to reschedule because I don't want to like, I'm like being really careful with my nails. And I don't want to even like have them in water long. So I would rather someone wash my hair around this time. The only thing I'm mad about is my pinky is broke. And I'm really, like, I'm really trying not to like bump it against nothing so it could really break because it's going to be the shortest nail out of all the nails so so i found some nail growth miracle serum from cvs you guys the reviews on this is amazing i did put some on my nails as soon as i left out of cvs guess what i found today y'all i'm obsessed with abaji y'all i'm obsessed with this is the Abaji C. This is a vitamin C cleansing gel. You could use the AM or PM. And guess what? It smells just like the foaming one. It's pink. It smells good as heck. So fresh, like a nice, clean, fresh scent. I'm definitely going to be using this tonight. Vitamin C. Um, this removes makeup, everyday impurities, full, clean, fresh complexion. So... This is amazing. I've read some re reviews on this. It don't get rid of waterproof mascara, but everything else it removes. So I had to get that, you guys. Some acetone because I think I still got like, I still have like a, a thin layer of acrylic on top. So I've been, you know, buffing it away gradually. Like I get my nails a two to three day break. I just always been obsessed with having my natural nails long and they always always broke so i never really knew how to take care of my nails or how to like properly grow them out so i'm learning this is a learning curve so we we want our natural nail tip hopefully this is my um shower filter we gonna see i didn't get no like tracking or nothing for this it's Yep, yep, this is my Abaji. I meant not my Abaji. This is my filter, and I had ordered, um, because I had to order over $30. So they actually had like a scalp brush for your hair for when you shampoo. So this is the cartridge replacement. It has 20 levels of everything. You want odor free water, protect skin, hair repair. Baby health is good for your baby's hair as well. Like just having a filter in general, especially if you got hard water. I'm in Cali, so yeah, I'm about to put that on tonight. I'm gonna get y'all this marinade. I ain't wanna share this marinade, but this marinade is so good on any type of meat when you cook it, marinate it. 
this is the marinade you need and i ain't gonna lie it is giving a little honey garlic garlic wing taste oh my goodness y'all this is the primal kitchen you gotta get this one but i use this on steak for when i marinated and on my chicken oh my goodness it came out so good it's like that good barbecue type taste but this is actually teriyaki and it's a thick and sticky honey teriyaki sauce and marinade when i tell you this is the only one that i'll buy because i'm really not like a um I really don't know nothing about teriyaki sauces like i haven't really been buying them but this brand i will highly recommend because it's giving me that hot honey garlic chicken um flavor and plus you could spruce it up and add more garlic and i could tell you this is going to give the honey garlic chicken flavor i'm talking about murray's if you if you know you know but I also have a honey garlic seasoning so my next time when i really make like some party wings I'm gonna marinate it with the honey garlic seasoning and this. I'm gonna marinate it for like two days. Food out. I made chickpeas. I heard if y'all wanna grow y'all breasts, I heard chickpeas is good for growing your breasts. So yeah, and plus that's a good source of protein if you don't want meat. But I'm just, you know, I have lots of chickpeas. I have some in the freezer, so yeah. I think like when my boobs was getting big and I was eating chickpeas, I was like, why is my boobs getting big? And it had to be from them chickpeas. I ain't mad though because I always wanted a nice little perfect size. And I think they the perfect size because I'm in B's. I'm like around 34 B's. 34 B's, perfect size. So I go up to a 36 B and I'm cool. I'm cool. Hey y'all, I just got out the shower shower felt amazing with my new shower filter in there water was smelling fresh purely clean like mm, so good like get you a water filter i like this brand i've been using this brand and i don't know no other brand i could vouch for but the demoya uh their their stuff really works filter really works and lasts for like six months the filter like i'm gonna say six months on the filter but it lasts a long time because I don't have to replace it. Like if you buy the whole set, I think I bought a, the whole set with the shower head and everything. And it came with three filters. I just put some glue on my nail because this pinky nail is like cracked like right in the corner. I'm so mad because I don't want to, I don't want to um take it all off. I don't want it to be short and the rest of my nails be long. So I put some glamnetic glue because i know that's some good glue because when i used to put on my little um press ones that glue will hold it up baby i'm waiting for this to really dry down so i could put my jojoba oil around my cuticles and this jojoba oil i got this from like marshall or tj maxx but this is pure and natural jojoba oil cold press unrefined it's for your face hair and body so yeah i heard this is a really good oil for the cuticles so like, i washed my face with that vitamin c face wash oh my goodness like the smell the smell so smells so good i put on a serum so i'm gonna put on um this beauty by just sun dynasty cream this has really been doing your girl good my only concern right now is the little blackheads on my nose i need to get rid of that asap and i'm probably doing it tomorrow because i know i got some strips for my nose in here somewhere i meant to look for it last week we can't let them hang around y'all i don't know what it is but my neighbors just i don't know if it's act up august or what but last yesterday i was my ring camera first of all i got a ring camera right and I had got it because people kept ringing my doorbell. And by the time I get to the door, nobody would be there. And I was just curious, like, who was knocking at my door? Because I'm not no person that's going to open the door. I'm not going to open the door. Like, hello, who is it? No, I'm not opening the door for nobody. You don't know my number. You have no reason to be knocking on my door. You got to just watch people because that ring camera, I be getting all types of notifications talking about people just walking in people houses and stuff so it's crazy like what's going around what you want to know what's going around in your neighborhood 
get your ring camera because I'd be shocked at what be going on. And yesterday the ring camera alerted and I seen a guy over my neighbor wall. So I'm like, who is this? What are you trying to steal something? So I open the door. But I seen my neighbor actually with the guy. So I was like, cool. He he must have needed his help for something. So I didn't think nothing of it. But I rewatched my my um videos when I got in the bed. I was just like, what was they doing? I was like, so the neighbor upstairs, remind you, this man, old white, like almost 70 years old, probably, probably is 70. So he come downstairs and he walk like towards the parking lot. He come back with a, a little dolly, like a plastic dolly with some wheels. Not really sturdy neither. And he come and knock on the neighbor door and he was waiting for the neighbor to come open the door. Neighbor come open the door. He was like, I couldn't hear him. But basically, the man locked himself out the house. So his plan was to climb the wall and then climb over his balcony because he on the second floor. So his plan was to climb the wall. So he climbed the wall. This man, 70 years old, climbed the wall. Then he decided to... The dolly he brought around, put that on top of the wall. N not really much stability in that damn dolly was was on his last leg. <laughs> so he put the dolly on top of the wall and he standing on the dolly on top of the wall like this. And he got the neighbor holding the legs like this. And the neighbor and the camera like this for like five minutes in this position. <laughs> My goodness, like what is going on? So the old man finally get over to his balcony and get back in his house. And the dolly that he brung around, he came back down. He not paying attention to the dolly that he brung. I'm like, what is, why you ain't taking a dolly? And my neighbor come out like, why is this dolly still right here? Why he ain't taking it to the trash can wherever it came from? Because he must have got it from like the trash area. He got lucky because that that was like the perfect side. Basically, I'm like, why he keep walking past up and down the stairs, not even trying to look at that dolly? <laughs> that The dolly helped you get to your apartment, mister, because you wouldn't have been able to get in the apartment the house like you was locked out and that man i don't know what he be doing but he be having so much traffic going on at his old age in his apartment like all types of people black white they be carrying bikes up there dogs i'm like what is he doing big traffic like what is you doing like like what is he a drug dealer what's good like or you do drugs. It wasn't one of them because you got a lot of traffic and it wasn't no type of traffic like that before you moved here. That rain camera, that will let you know what's going on in the neighborhood. It be some funny stuff. Like, I'm goofy, so I'm going to laugh at you. We're going to put some of this jojoba oil. Oh, uh, dang, I'm, I, I'm almost out of this jojoba oil. But yeah, this going to be my main oil for my nails. My, my dream was always having long nails not them long nasty joints just this is the perfect size but i always wanted my natural nails to be long and healthy so they're not 100 percent healthy right now but we're working on that baby we're working on it and every time i want to do something i'm gonna do it so i succeed and i my nails is not like the best looking color right now. They look kind of yellow. But I just rub that cuticle oil around it and I'll put it under my nails as well. I don't know why, but I want some coffee. And it's 5.30 in the evening. Like, I want some coffee. But I, I need to, I think I need to go to Target to get, I need to get some milk. I don't have no milk to make me no coffee in the morning.
like I can't get away from you Broken hearts were made for two, I guess And it's so confusing Finding the right ways to express Being love, it's a fear It's a drug we do, I guess That addiction we won't As my hair goes, let's take it down. Okay, I'm loving that. I'm loving that. So I'll just comb it out because I'm gonna just wear some sunshades and um call it a day. Still flowy. That's that's a good sign. Roller set shawty. Roller set shawty. Roller 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 set shawty. Let's make some coffee. I'm gonna put on this native. This is my shiznets for the daytime. Nighttime, it don't matter, but I just love this powder. Cotton smell, it just smells so good. Let me open it. It's the smell. Let me line my lips, do my signature lippy because if it's gonna be signature, don't you gotta wear every day? So that's what we're gonna do. If we don't do stuff every day, you're gonna be wasting money because you're not using your stuff. So, where's my stuff? Oh, I'm walking around my lashes. Y'all, these I Lord lashes. I'm trying to tell you, those are some good lashes. Like, one morning I wake up with a really, really crook lash thinking that it's about to really fall off. And the next day, the next day, like, they looking kind of perfect. They looking kind of perfect. I'm like, Hold on, so I'm definitely going to stop at Walmart or see. I'm at Target today to get another pair of these 114 eye lures because these are bomb. And I seen some cashmere ones that was so so cute. Like they started off short, then it got a little longer. Oh my goodness, those were so freaking adorable. You could get 15 wears out of the, out of those lashes. So I'm like, look. Let me find out. I don't found me like a really, really, really good lash brand that I can definitely vouch for. Cause I'm definitely going to get those today, even though I have this whole pack from Shein. Uh, these has been on my eyes for a good week, and it seemed like a whole week, and I didn't have to do nothing. Like I don't wash my face morning and night and they didn't come off they didn't bust the move or nothing so and then i use this super strong lash glue because i was definitely about to give up on that glue but it's really like like uh-uh you're not gonna give up on me it's really holding on to these lashes so it's really like giving me no chance of getting rid of that glue and trying something different this dress in white from Bath and Body Works. This body mist smells so freaking good. I love it, love it, love it. And yesterday I paired it with this True Religion perfume. Look how dope and frosted this perfume bottle is. It has a little diamond in it. It just looks so like dope, like the design. It's like a frosted texture. And this smells so clean, fresh, cool. Mm. It could be unisex. It got a little sweetness into it, but I'm going to wear this because based on what I'm wearing, just a white tank top. This like a white tank top, white t-shirt type um, perfume. I think I might wear these because they're a little bit more to the face. It really don't matter. Like, mm. 
But let me make my coffee. Yeah, I'm going to wear these. And it is what it is. So I'm going to make my coffee and get my day started. Y'all, I went to Target last night around 9 something. And I did something. I bought some beef bacon, you guys. Guess how much? I mean, not beef bacon. Beef bologna. Guess how much they wanted for it in Target? Almost $9. Like, they crazy. But I bought it. I don't know why I was craving a bologna and cheese sandwich. Because I had this freaking Wonder Bread. I don't be buying Wonder Bread. But this, this is what I grew up on. Wonder. Grew up on Wonder. It's so soft. I haven't had it in a minute. And plus, it's just... I know it's not good for me. And um, that's why I worked out this morning. Because I have been slacking on doing my workout for like a couple days. But I did it today. I'm still motivated to do it. Martin coffee made by me. Let me taste this. Because I, have really, I haven't been really using the blonde lately. So let me see what is ready here. Um, Starbucks best employee making these coffees, but I'm good. Hey, how you doing, lady? Yeah, how are you? Good, good seeing you. I was like, I wanted my girl up in here. How you been? Good. What? I'm gonna go do the little family gathering. I gotta see a whole bunch of family. Family reunion, yeah. Nice refresh. I know that's right. We're getting rid of them and putting in the new Halloween set that's coming. Oh sure. no. The Halloween set. Though. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but y'all got on clearance. Yes. Because I'm like, just started this nail stuff. Like, you just lay them on top of your nail. I seen them. And then whatever's extra, you file it off and then put a clear coat on top. And how you take them all? With regular nail polish, you know that. For real? Mm -hmm. That's what build a gel too. I came yes. in for something like this. Is this clear? No, this one's barely there. It's gonna be the color at the top right there. The clear one's over that way. Okay, I need a clear drink. Yeah, yeah. See now, my memory coming back. Like, what you come here for? Hold it down there too. These ones. Okay. There's a whole bunch of them. All right. Cool. Polish remover. Dollar twenty five. Shit. This nail polish dryer. How much is this for? For real. Yeah. Shit. That's what I'm saying. Back here. <laughs> <laughs> I just did that. Man. I was just saying like, damn, I need something to dry oh. my nails faster. Okay. Somebody says okay, something okay. about a two something grit. My favorite. Okay, perfect though. Look at you. See, you helping me. <laughs> no, he likes that one. <laughs> I know it probably smell good. It smell my pee. Mimosa. Peppermint tea. I had to take a tea break because I'm doing my nails. I just did this, my left hand, so I got to do my right. I just took off some more of the acrylic that was on top of my nails, buffed them. I went to Sally's today and got a few things. And I got some builder gel, but I was about to use it. Then it said it requires a UV light LED lamp. And I was so mad because I wanted to put it, hurry up and put it on my pinky. 
I did make it through the day without, well, the day still is here. But being outside, I made it through without breaking my pinky nail that's on its last leg. I got a compliment on my fake St. Laurent today. And I didn't notice how scratched up these drinks was. These drinks need some TLC. I had bought some peanut butter yesterday, craving a peanut butter and jelly because I had that one, the bread sitting over there, all soft and luscious. And I am like a little bougie when it comes to jellies and jams. I always find something like in a glass jar because I'm just bougie. But look at my peanut butter and jelly. It's about gone. It's about gone. This is a peanut butter and jam. I use the natural Skippy. It's the Stonewall Kitchen Peach Pomegranate Jam, you guys. This is so good. It looks like a apricot -y type color but darker I didn't know how well this would go with peanut butter but when i tell you it's good it's good i'm glad i did not buy none of that nasty jelly yesterday in target but this has um pears there's peaches pomegranate ginger and that's about it y'all it's this is really good i really like this brand because I think I found this one at, yeah, TJ Maxx, but, yeah, I've been seeing this in TJ Maxx, but I first seen it in the grocery store. Look at that. They, like, they, like, intertwining together, like, ooh, we supposed to be together. They, like, ooh, where you been at? Where you been? Look, Cookie staring at me. I did give her some peanut butter. She eat a little bit of peanut butter. Make your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I haven't had one of these, like, all year, so I don't be eating stuff like this. Mm, 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 mm. I take eat something in moderation seriously. <laughs> Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Jam. It was jam. It was so good, y'all. It was so good. These are the black pants that I got. They got like uh, pockets on the side. But what? These are called parachute pants. I had a pair of parachute pants before and they was making that swishy sound so I had to get those up to the Goodwill. Let me try these on because I don't got no pants on right now. So let me try these on. You see, I had to wiggle woggle. Let me show y'all. They fit really, really comfortable. So I would like... Get like a make a drawstring in here so I can make them like a little bit more tighter around the waist. At these, I was like, I'm gonna get those because I don't have like no thin type of like black sweatpants. These not even like sweatpants, they like a casual pants. So got that. Then I found this shirt from why did this on Marshalls? Marshalls. I like this shirt, it's like a kind of a thick quality of this shirt and i just like that it got a star i like how the sleeves is on this this is a medium but i'm i want to get a small i mean a large too because the medium fits me like perfect i'm glad that it covers like my whole stomach so this is like that type of shirt that don't crop up i had to get it this is a social culture 95 percent cotton five percent spandex but i really like this gonna be like one of my favorite shirts and these are the shoes that i found at ross y'all they look so huge it's like a shoe and a shoe they're like really really different and i just kept looking at them kept looking at them they got the zipper and they got the shoe strings as well and these are a size six and they had another pair that was orange and they had like the actual adidas tag on them and the tag said crazy what is that crazy infinity or something that's the name of these shoes crazy if infinity so I was like, why they look so big? These are size six, but when I try them on, they fit me perfect. And they go smack with these type of pants because they kind of wide. So I'm about to try them on. She a head case, all she do is shoot I sign my deal on 
up on the PJ and hopped out and merged you. I'm geeked on next week, got no more features, I might just search you. I'm geeked on next week, got no more features, I might just burst you. Dead glow, stomp a little pussy, the whole piece of shell toes. Dead glow, slapping rap beaches and making bell hoes. To me, they grew on me as soon as I put them on. It's just something about them. They giving me like a phone posit type, you know, vibe. But they're like super snuggy to my foot. Super comfortable. And, you know, they fit perfect with my Nike socks on. Because my Nike socks is a little bit on the thick side. But they is so different. They look really like cool on my feet. Super cool. These are the gray, they're like a charcoal gray, black, and they really don't look bad on my feet. I'm just like, hold on. Is these going to be my everyday shoes? They got like, I don't know if that's like a red or what. These joints go smack together like tomboy swag. Swag. Swag, hey, swag, hey. That tomboy swag, oh, I could get fly on you. Yeah. I could get fly. But I don't really got nothing. I don't really got nothing. I have pieces. But sometimes when you got pieces, you got to wait for the right piece to go with it. You feel me? Mm, I'm thinking about that peanut butter and jelly jam sandwich. Woo. I got a tan one and a black one. I'ma take a bougie ass to Rodeo and then let her pick up whatever she want. CC Gucci, he gon' take her whatever she want. She pissed me off, so I just did it whatever she want. Talking about another from the Nella as a home. Hit it in the shop, man, tell me what you want.